Welcome back, it's Jason Walter here, and here's your latest California housing market update. So in today's video, I'm gonna take a deep dive into what we're seeing right now in California on a regional level, as well as a city level. I'm gonna be sharing the actual press release from the California Association of Realtors. They just announced this report today at the time of this video, which is the 18th. In my previous video, I kinda of went over a general overview about our California housing market. So if you missed that video, I'll leave a link below for you guys. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive right into this video here. Again, this is according to the California Association of Realtors, uh, and this was just released uh, on the 18th of July. It says, California home sales and prices curb in June as housing demand cools. And as I mentioned in my previous video here, uh, closed escrow sales of existing single family detached houses uh, decreased 8.4% on a monthly basis and declined big time 20.9% uh, from a year ago. Again, these are closed home sales in California. And the association's uh, president, Otto Katrina, had this to say, California's housing market continues to moderate, creating favorable conditions for buyers. With interest rates moving sideways in recent weeks and fewer houses selling above the asking price, prospective buyers have the rare opportunity to see more listings coming onto this market and face less competition. This is true because we are seeing more um, housing supply, more houses listed for sale. But I'll have to say that uh, we haven't seen this giant decrease in home prices just yet. And on, on top of that, home prices have increased greatly since the start of this pandemic. And I actually want to share some uh, stats with you guys regarding that uh, because, um, yeah, it's great we have more price reductions, more houses for sale. This is all great news for home buyers. However, prices are still very high though. And it's really hard to refute that. Uh, so uh, for June 2022, this is the latest trends we have from the California Association of Realtors. Uh, home prices, or the median sold price, uh, decreased to $863,000. That's a decrease of $36,000 uh, from uh, last month when we had an all-time record highs where the uh, median sold price uh, surpassed $900,000 for the first time in California. In any case, I actually added this. This is actually an, a download uh, from the California Association of Realtors. Again, these are for existing single family detached houses, but I actually added all this uh, for you guys here. So in May, we had all time record highs, uh, but in June, uh, home prices decreased by 4%. Again, when I say home prices, I mean the median sold price. So that decreased by 4% on a month to month basis, a very small decrease, but obviously a step in the right direction. However, I did some digging for you guys, or I did, some, I did a calculation for you guys, not too much digging really. Uh, take a look at this because here's a gain in home prices ever since March of 2020 compared to June 2022. So the median sold price has actually increased by $251,000. In other words, a 29% increase uh, compared to March of 2020. So yes, it is a step in the right direction where home prices decreased by 4% in one month. That's a fairly substantial uh, decrease in one month, but when you look at uh, overall compared to uh, the onset pandemic, home prices are still up 29%. Therefore, I wouldn't necessarily call this uh, favorable conditions for buyers right now because we're not seeing this giant decrease in home prices just yet. Uh, and by the way, I actually add some notes here regarding um, home prices here and why uh, the median sold price decreased in June. And so number one is because we have 64% more active listings in California compared to one year ago. And this is causing a lot more price reductions. So right now, at least for June 2022, uh, the share of price drops is at 35%, which is a very high uh, uh, share right now. Also, we're seeing fewer houses selling for over $1 million in California, and that's also causing the median sold price to decrease as well. And of course, we have a pullback in buyer demand, and that's also causing prices to soften as well. So in regards to this pullback in the luxury home sale market, it says after increasing for four consecutive months, the share of million dollar home sales dipped as sales in the higher price segment dropped 8.3% from the prior month. On top of this, sales of houses priced over $2 million plummeted 17.9% from May 2022. And it says here more moderation will likely to come uh, in July as sharp declines in pending sales in the upper price segments suggest a drag on the statewide median price in the upcoming months. So in other words, we're seeing a strong pullback in contracts signed for luxury home sales and also uh, frankly across the state as well because uh, pending home sales have decreased about 40% compared to one year ago. But because we're seeing fewer luxury home sales, that's really causing the median sold price to decrease in California. 
And check this out because this is pretty mind blowing. Excluding the three month pandemic lockdown in which as a real estate agent, I wasn't even allowed to meet with my clients face to face back in um, April of 2020. So excluding this three month uh, pandemic uh, lockdown period in 2020, June's sales level was the lowest since April of 2008. And pending home sale data also suggests we can expect additional retreating in the coming months. And this is of course because pending home sales or contract signs have decreased about 40% year over year. And because of this pullback in home buying demand right now, the California Association of Realtors actually revised their housing market forecast for 2022. It says here for existing single family home sales, they expect that to decline by 14.4% uh, compared to 2021. Also, they are projecting that the median home price uh, in California is expected to increase by 9.7% to $863,000 in 2022. They are also projecting that the average 30-year fixed rate mortgage is going to rise uh, between 6.25% uh, to 6.5% by the end of 2022 and averaging 5.2% for the year. This is actually the first time I've seen an organization a state uh, that mortgage rates are going to be increasing in the range of 6.25% to 6.5%. Most companies and also people I follow have been projecting that mortgage rates are going to be increasing about 5.5 to about 6%. So this is actually the first time I've seen an organization a state that mortgage rates are going to increase to uh, up to 6.5% this year. And speaking of mortgage rates, I might as well give you the latest update regarding the um, average 30-year fix uh, across the nation right now. Uh, right now, according to the Mortgage News Daily, it's 5.73%. Uh, that's an increase of about 2.76% uh, from one year ago. And by the way, how crazy it is that one year ago, the average 30-year fix was 2.97%. Now it's 5.73%. So before I share the latest stats regarding what we're seeing across the region in California and also how each of the counties fared, I also want to share uh, this according to the California Association of Realtors because they have what's called the Consumer Housing Sentiment Index, which is pretty telling regarding what people, uh, what their sentiment is regarding this housing market here in California. It says this was conducted in June. It says 79% of those respondents uh, to the survey here believe that the overall economic conditions in California will not improve in the next 12 months. Also on top of this, only 14% of the respondents thought it was a good time to buy a house. Okay, changing gears, let's talk about how each of the regions in California fared, and of course the counties as well, because as I always mention, there's a pretty big differences regarding how each of the uh, regions and counties fared in California for June. At a regional level, and I believe there's approximately seven major regions in California, uh, according to this report here, it says all major regions experienced double digit sales declines from last year. So uh, home sales compared to one year ago, in all major regions decreased by double digits uh, from one year ago. Also, three of these five regions fell by more than 25% on a year-over-year -year basis. SoCal had the biggest drop of all regions with sales plunging 27% from a year ago. At a county level, all but two counties that are tracked by car, I believe the California Association of Realtors tracks 51 counties in California. So all but two of those posted sales drops in June from a year ago. Of the 49 counties that experienced a sales decline, 49 of them fell by double digits from last year. And check this out because counties with a sales decline decreased on average 23.9% in June from a year ago. Okay, let's talk about home prices because of course you guys wanna know what's going on with home prices in California. At a regional level, home prices in all major California regions increased in price from last year with the Central Coast leading the way at a 10.1% increase. This is pretty remarkable because, yeah, a 10.1% increase on a year-over-year -year basis is still above historical levels, but well below what we saw back in the spring of this year. So it's pretty remarkable that the biggest gainer only increased by 10.1% on a year-over-year -year basis. And at a county level, Santa Barbara had the largest year-over-year -year gain in home prices at 33.7%. And stay tuned here in just a little bit because I'm going to be sharing how each of the counties uh, fare regarding home prices and home sales uh, compared to one year ago and also compared to uh, May of this year. Uh, that's going to be towards the end of this video here. Let's first talk about housing inventory in California though. The overall supply conditions in California improved again in June with a statewide unsold inventory index rising to the highest level in nearly two years. This is the month supply. 
And, and by the way, I believe that's a 2.4 months in California across the uh, state here. And this increase of this index was partly due to an increase of housing supply and partially due to a pullback in home buying demand. Meanwhile, total active listings, which of course is housing supply, increased 64.4% in June, which is absolutely insane. This is the largest year-over-year -year growth in more than seven years in the state. Also, total active listings on a month-to-month -month basis increased 28.8% from May. And this, of course, is one of the main reasons why we're seeing a huge uptick of price reductions uh, in California. Again, um, for June, uh, that share is approximately 35%. So in other words, approximately 35% of active listings right now have price reductions, which is far higher compared to one year ago. And speaking more about housing inventory, take a look at this because this is absolutely insane. 46 of the 51 counties that are tracked by car registered a year-over-year -year increase of active listings, housing supply, in June, compared to 44 counties in May. But check this out. Nine counties had triple-digit gains in properties for sale from last year, with Yolo leading the pack at 26.8% increase from a year ago. That was followed by Solano, a 122.3% increase, and Merced, California, increasing by 112% in the number of active listings in June. Okay, changing gears again, let's talk about home sales and home prices by region and also by county in California here. And feel free to pause and screenshot this video here because I'm not gonna be going over every single county, otherwise this video would be 16 hours long. So let's just talk about a general overview and also uh, the stats that really got my attention. So home prices for single family um, detached houses, again, increased by 5.4% uh, compared to uh, June, 2021. But look at this condos and townhomes actually increased or uh, the price appreciation increased uh, double the rate for single family houses in california which is pretty uh, interesting i'm guessing the difference here is because uh, condos and townhomes are much less expensive compared to single family houses uh, in fact, the difference is actually $200,000 in June. What's also pretty remarkable when looking at these seven major regions in California, look at the sales decreases on a year-over-year -year basis. I mean, every single region decreased by double digits. And also in Inland Empire, uh, the Bay Area, and also in SoCal, they decreased by 27% compared to June of 2021. Also look at this, the San Francisco Bay Area, look at this, prices actually only increased by 3.7% whereas all the other major regions increase much more than that, except for the far north, only increasing by 5.3%. But pretty big difference here when we have an increase by 3.7%, where we had uh, increases of 10% in the Central Coast and also in the Central Valley. Let's talk more about the uh, San Francisco Bay Area first though. So take a look at these home prices. Again, these are median sold prices. The most expensive county in all the state is $2.1 million in San Mateo. Yet home prices decrease the most uh, in this county, uh, down 5.3% on a year-over-year -year basis. In stark contrast, look at Alameda, increased by 9.2%, and Solano County increasing by 8.7%. But look at these uh, decreases in sales compared to a year ago, decreasing by 18% all the way up to 31%. All right, let's talk about um, SoCal, and then we'll talk about the Central Coast and also the Central Valley. So SoCal, the most expensive county there is in uh, Orange County, uh, basically $1.3 million. Prices increasing by 11.2% in one single year, which is pretty astonishing there. Uh, sales decreased by 36% there. Um, Riverside, a lot of people ask about Riverside. Uh, the median sold price is $645,000. And sales decreased big time on a month-to-month -month basis there, uh, 10%. Also, a lot of people ask about uh, San Diego. Uh, median sold price there is $950,000. One year ago, it was $865,000. That's a gain of almost 10%. But look at sales. Sales declined by 30.5% uh, on a year-over-year -year basis. Also in Ventura, where I meet Kevin, if you guys follow his uh, YouTube channel, uh, he's based in Ventura. Look at this, the median sold price, $930,000. Actually, I didn't even know that. So Ventura is very close in price uh, compared to San Diego. I always thought San Diego was much more expensive. Anyways, very expensive there, $930,000, uh, increasing by 10.7% on a year-over-year -year basis. But home sales there, of course, are tanking there on a year-over-year -year basis as well. And what stood out the most to me in the Central Coast region is Santa Barbara. Right now, the median sold price, $1.2 million, but they must have had you know, one or several you know, luxury, you know, ultra luxury home sales uh, in Santa Barbara because uh, home prices there increased by 39% on a month-to-month -month basis. 
Uh, if you guys know anything about uh, the Santa Barbara um, housing market, let me know because uh, obviously it's not normal to have you know a 39% increase in home prices there or the median sold price in one single month. So there must have been some giant um, home sales there uh, in June. However, despite this big uptick on a month to month basis in Santa Barbara, uh, the home prices there in Santa Cruz are actually more expensive still, $1.3 million, but home sales declined big time at 36.1% decrease. All right, let's talk about the Central Valley and what we're seeing with our housing market here. So in Fresno, prices increased on a year-over-year -year basis by 13.3%. Obviously, this is far higher than the uh, state's um, average of 5.4%. So Fresno is doing very well on a, on a yearly basis. Uh, also, take a look at these other areas here. Feel free to you know, pause and screenshot it if you want. Uh, Placer County, which is basically right next door to Sacramento County, uh, the median sold price is $720,000. Uh, prices only increased by 7.4%. And uh, just like all these other uh, areas here, uh, Placer County, uh, home sales declined quite a bit. And in Sacramento, where I live and work as a real estate agent, our median sold price is $560,000. Uh, that's an increase of 6.7% uh, compared to June of 2021. And home sales have been tanking as well, down 24% uh, from a year ago. But look at San Benito. San Benito, decreasing by 48.6% in one single year uh, and declining by 25.5% uh, compared to last month. We also saw big decreases in home sales in Siskiyou County, which is located in the far north, uh, on a year-over-year -year basis, declining by 45.2%. However, home prices increasing by 30.2% there. And again, just like Santa Barbara, I'm guessing they probably had some fairly big home sales over the past couple of years, which caused this to increase greatly. Also in El Dorado County, which is just east of Sacramento County, uh, El Dorado County, look at this, home prices only increased 1.9% uh, from a year ago, but look at home sales. Home sales tanking 32% in that same time period. Also remember when I said that Yolo had the biggest increase of active listings? Take a look at this, um, active listings in Yolo County uh, increased the most by 126.8% uh, on a year-over-year -year basis. So in Yolo County, active listings or housing inventory increased by almost 127% in one year. So they have far more active listings in Yolo County right now. But look at home sales. Home sales actually decrease by 24.7% on a year-over-year -year basis. That is pretty astonishing that had a giant increase of active listings, yet sales actually declined. So with that said, comment below with your biggest takeaways from today's video. Also, if you got any value out of this video whatsoever, then please hit the like button and greatly appreciate that. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Look forward to seeing you on the next video.